Hello everyone. This question has been taken from Olympiad Pathfinder Chapter 2 Multiple Choice Question Number 5. The question is A uniform rope is tied between nail A on the wall and nail B on the ground. The rope without touching the ground anywhere assumes a curved shape known as catenary. This is catenary curve. <clears throat> Tangents at the ends A and B of this catenary make angles alpha and beta with the vertical respectively. Here it is alpha. This is beta. Which of the following conclusions you can make? A is horizontal component of the tensile force in the rope is uniform. B is vertical component of the tensile force increases with height. C is angle alpha can be greater than angle beta. D is alpha angle alpha cannot assume a value of zero degree. So this is the catenary shape. This angle is beta. This angle is alpha. <clears throat> so let us try to solve this question. We take a small section of rope somewhere in between A and B. So this side the tension force is T and this side if we take it as T plus DT. It is this one is of DL length and lambda let us assume that lambda is the linear density. of the rope. So this one the gravitational pull on this DL section of the rope will be lambda into DL will be mass into G. Let us say that this <clears throat> DL section is making angle theta with the vertical. So this angle will also be theta. So net force along the rope will be, if you can see from the diagram, T plus DT minus T will be F net along the section of DL section of the rope. So DT will be in this direction. Okay. So if we take the vertical component, 
this dt is made up of two component one will be vertical component if we show this way this is your dt this is vertical component this is horizontal component right so dtv dth right <clears throat> so if we focus on horizontal component on this section of rope on DL section of rope so we can write it as D T horizontal but in the horizontal direction there is no other force acting on it so it must be DTH must be zero so therefore T it should be constant along the horizontal direction. Okay, means tensile force, horizontal component of the tensile force in the rope is uniform. So this will be A will be one answer. Okay. Now let us go on vertical component of the vertical component. DL section of the rope that will be DTV and also in the vertical direction lambda DLG that gravitational pull is acting on that into G there is no motion there is no acceleration in the vertical direction as well so this will be 0 equal to 0 so therefore dtv will be lambda dl into g right <clears throat> dt is resultant in this direction so component vertical component of this will be dt cos theta so dtv we can replace with dt cos theta lambda dlg so this one is your vertical component at any place where the dl is making the dl section of the rope is making theta angle with the vertical if you see in the catenary shape of the rope you can notice it that as we progress from b to a the angle the rope is making at it at any point with the vertical is getting lesser and lesser and lesser see alpha is lesser than beta over here so it means theta is decreasing so cos theta so in cos theta theta is decreasing hence cos theta will increase will keep increasing right so therefore vertical component will be increasing throughout when we go from b to a so vertical component of the tensile flow force increases with height so this also is correct so we should a and B is right answer now from here here from here you can write here. from here 
answer B. From here, answer A. Since theta is decreasing continuously when it is going up from B to A, so alpha cannot be larger than angle beta. So C is out. Now let us see on D. Alpha angle cannot assume a value of 0 degree. See what will happen. If alpha angle is 0, at that time what will happen? Let us enlarge this nail and so like this rope. And angle with the vertical as 0, right? But you notice one point, because of the gravitational pull on the entire rope, this nail will be exerting a horizontal force as well on the rope. So this nail will have a horizontal component. Okay. So if, but here, if the angle is 0 degree, alpha is 0 degree, then what will happen? This nail will only take the load in the vertical direction. So if we take the entire rope, as a system, Let capital M is the mass of the rope and this is the center of mass through which the weight is acting. So if you see the entire system in the horizontal direction, there is no component which can balance the horizontal force which horizontal pull which the nail at the ground is providing to the rope. For that to happen, alpha can never be zero. If alpha is not zero, then it will have a vertical component of the force as well as the horizontal component. Horizontal component of the force will nullify. The horizontal component of force provided by or caused by the nail at the ground to the rope. So that will cancel out and vertical component will be balancing out the entire weight. So angle alpha cannot assume is 0 degree. So answer will be, so overall your answer will be A B and D. So hopefully this answer satisfies you. In case any problem in understanding, please do write in the comment box. Thank you.